First thing we're going to do is... You're on squaring the board? Well, kind of. Okay. First thing we're going to do is what? Let's say you're going to do your two sides and your two front and back. And I've got pieces back there that are, let's say, seven feet long, and they're already planed to five sixteenths of an inch thick. So what's the first thing we want to do? Nate? Because we can't run it through the joiner if we cut it to length. So what do we have to do first? Yeah, that's what we want to accomplish. How do we do that? We're squaring the wood. So how do we do that? First, we would put it in the planer. Okay, I've already planed it. You guys aren't listening. I've got some boards. They're like seven feet long. They are approximately four, five inches wide, approximately. I've already planed them to five sixteenths of an inch. So what's the first thing we want to do, Jamie? No. It's seven feet long. You don't want to rip it first. Because we, don't, we do not have a straight edge yet. We don't have a straight edge yet. How much do we need to joint? No. No. You guys are going to figure out. How long is are the two sides and the two fronts? How long is that if you add those four pieces together? The, the front and the back are six and a half, right? Correct? So six and a half plus six and a half is 13, and then the uh, ends are four inches plus eight. So it's 21 inches. Is that right, Cameron? Okay. Let's see. Let's see if that's right. <laughs> so we got a front. If you're not following me, look up here, guys. We got a front. We got a back. We got two sides. Front six and a half. Backs six and a half. Sides are. Four inches each, so that's eight inches, like Cameron said. Okay? So if we add those numbers together, we got one, seven, 13, 21 inches. Okay? Now, you might want to write this on your plan of procedure. Okay? You might want to write this down because their plan of procedure and what we're going to be doing is a little bit different. So you're going to need uh, a finished size of 21 inches for those four pieces. Nick, how long do you generally cut um, a board to rough length? You have to cut a little extra. How much do you cut it extra? An inch. Huh? <laughs> An inch. An inch. One inch. So you want to cut one of those pieces 22 inches long. Okay, write that on your plan of procedure. Okay, you see where it says number one, it says this project can be made from a three quarter by five by 36. Cross through that. Everybody draw a line through number one on the plan of procedure. And uh, you need to replace that with cut a piece of five sixteenths material writing writing don't have a pencil not prepared okay okay it's all right it's only it's only participation points and you're going to cut that 22 inches long justin okay so you're rough cutting that to 22 inches long all right number one yeah, it's uh, the pieces that I got back there. Twenty-one. <laughs> okay, and that's gonna be enough to do the. That's gonna be enough to do the 
two, the front, the back, and the two sides. Okay. What will you cut that? What machine will you use to cut that? Sliding miter. Okay. Okay. Why, again, uh, Brian, why do we make that one inch longer than we need for our finished size? Okay, blade width, he said, the kerf. Every time you make a cut on the sliding miter saw, it takes off how much? Eighth of an inch, okay? So you're going to be taking off four eighths just in cutting, so that's a half of an inch. Okay, so we're giving you, we're making it one inch longer so that if you have to square an end and cut twice or something on, you know, one end, you get a little bit of a play there, okay? Okay, uh, next step. Next step, there's going to be some boards back there that are plain to three quarters. Okay, what pieces do we need for, uh, oh, well, let's, let's go back to this one for a second, okay? Now that we've got our piece cut 22 inches long, what's the next step in squaring it? Because it's still not square, is it? It's not cut to width. So once we cut it to 22, what do we do next? Joint the best edge. Very good. On the jointer. Do we want to joint both edges? No. Joint the best edge. Okay. How do you determine the best edge? Well, you look, you look down the piece. When you get it, it's, only got, it's going to be about this long. Some of the pieces might have a place like this. You might have a, a place where you got kind of a split on it. See this right here? Okay. If you got a place on the edge that's got a split, that's not the best edge, is it? So you do the other edge. Okay. Now, Nate said, shouldn't you do both edges? No. Why don't you do both edges, uh, Dylan? Why do you only do? Why do you joint only one edge? I can't focus with him looking at me like that. <laughs> well, just ignore him. Austin. Oh, come on. If you run, if you if you joint two edges, are they parallel? Most likely not. So, don't we want both edges to be parallel? Plus, if you're running to the bandsaw, one side's going to be perfect. Not the bandsaw. The table saw. No, the bandsaw. No, table saw. No, bandsaw is not going to give you a straight cut. No. So, so okay. once you joint the best edge, then you go over to the table saw and set it to the correct width, which is four inches, right? And you run that. Oh, I'm sorry, not four inches. You set that to two and one fourth, which is the width, right? And then you run that through. Okay, two and a fourth. All right. This piece is uh, this piece is four inches long or wide. Whoops. This is four inches wide, so it's too bad it wasn't wider, as we could have got, you know, two two yeah. pieces out of each. But you're gonna only take out two and a quarter inches. Okay, with the with the table saw. Brings up a good point what John said. You cannot get a nice straight cut like you need for these on the bandsaw. No cuts should be done on the bandsaw for these. None. Okay? So the bandsaw is great for curved cuts, but it's not great for, for straight cuts. So, all right. So once we get it cut to width, We've planed one edge, the best edge. Now we've ripped it to the correct width, which is two and a quarter. Now what do we do? Justin, uh, what do we do next? Table saw? We have just did the table saw. Uh -oh. We ripped it to correct width. So what are we doing next? What's, what is the operation? Not the machine. What's the operation? No, no. No, it's not Cross ripping. Cut. Cross cut. Cross cut to what? Cross cut to correct length. Okay, and what machine do we use for that, Dylan? This Dylan. Cross cut? Yeah. Miter saw? The sliding miter saw. Okay, now guess what, guys? 
these measurements have to be perfect. If they are not perfect, this project, Nate, sit down, listen up. Okay, okay. These, the measurements on this little box have to be perfect, okay? When I grade this, I'm going to be measuring it for actual size. It should be, according to the plan, six and a half this way and exactly four inches this way. If, if you goof up and you have to make it smaller, it's going to count off on your grade a little bit, okay? So yes. couldn't they take the parts and put it onto the uh, drawing that we made to check? Yes. Did you hear that? You could take your parts because this is actual size. Mr. Summerfield had these printed up and, and the copy lady made these so they are exact size of what they're supposed to be. So you could take those pieces and actually lay them on there just to make sure that they do fit. Okay, yeah, Ryan? Uh, last time I checked, that miter saw was was cutting um, square. But then we better fix that, huh? Put a square on it. Check it with a square. If it's if it's off, then we'll fix it. Yeah. Why doesn't your box close all the way? Why doesn't my box close all the way? Uh, I don't know. It pretty much does. It might be when we put these, we're going to use a, uh, a chisel to mortise these hinges in. So when you mortise those hinges in, if you don't get them, if you don't get the depth perfect, then it causes the hinge to, to want to pull that front up just a little bit. But that's acceptable. Okay. You can also uh, buy a little uh, clasp. A little brass clasp that you want if you want to close that up they sell those over at Ace. Um, the project plan didn't show that so I didn't add one of those to it okay but if you want to do one of those little clasps then it would pull it down shut completely okay all right questions how many of you how many of you are still working on your shelf project let me see a show of hands that need time for that today one two three four five six seven okay those guys those of you that are ready to go to this today you're going to need to help me back on the surface planner so we can finish surfacing these pieces and then you can start cutting them to length okay you done yeah okay.